This program is sponsored by Auckland City Council. 56,827. The number of businesses in Auckland City. That's 15% of all New Zealand businesses. It gives me great, great pleasure to welcome you here tonight for the, launch, for the launch of the Asia Action Business Summit. In particular, I would like to welcome this evening's special guests, His Excellency Lun Yong Tu, the Secretary General of the Boa Forum for Asia and former Vice Minister of Trade and Economic Cooperation from the People's Republic of China, and Clyde Prestowich, the Founder and President of the Economic Strategy Institute in Washington. In introducing this evening's dinner and tomorrow's forum, I would like to briefly background the role of your host organization, the Asian New Zealand Foundation, for which I'm the chairman. The foundation began life in 1993 when Dominic and I, in our roles as ministers in the government of the day, decided to create an institution or an agency that would proactively engage New Zealand in the Asian region. Self-evidently, the Asia-Pacific region was, by the early 1990s, emerging as an economic powerhouse that New Zealand needed to engage in more aggressively. Don McKinnon and I mandated what was initially known as the Asia 2000 Foundation, now the Asia New Zealand Foundation, with a range of responsibilities, specifically in the areas of education, business, media, research, and culture. The unique characteristic of the Foundation is that it was created as an apolitical, non-partisan organization, jointly funded by the government and the private sector. Since its establishment, the Foundation has been scrupulous in respecting its bipartisan integrity at all levels of activity. We have, of course, a pretty aggressive and at times partisan political environment, which is the reality of our Westminster heritage. And I accordingly wish to pay particular tribute to the way in which the political process has united in supporting the bipartisan ambitions of the Foundation. In this respect, I specifically wish to thank the Prime Minister, who both as Leader of the Opposition and Prime Minister has been a generous and committed supporter of the Foundation since its creation. I also, I also thank John Key, the Leader of the Opposition, who apologises for not being here this evening for his unqualified commitment to similarly support the Foundation. Needless to say, the Foundation is extremely conscious of the need for apolitical representation and to represent the aspirations of the Asian ethnic minorities. Its, over, its overarching priority is to proactively encourage our society to engage with the region that we are geographically, strategically, and economically so very much part of. Tomorrow's summit is one of the major export year initiatives is specifically designed to focus on the commercial imperatives for engaging with Asia. Our two guest speakers this evening are amongst the most, and most eminent commentators on the dynamics and opportunity to the region office, and we are very grateful for their presence. The reality is that in recent years, New Zealand has underperformed in its relationship with the region, and the ambition of tomorrow's seminar is to act as a catalyst to spur the business community in detecting the shortcomings identified in our business ambitions with the Asian region. I can assure you that there will be outcomes, there will be recommendations, and there will be implementation and a way forward. I conclude by very specifically wishing to thank the Asian New Zealand Foundation sponsors, Fonterra, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and New Zealand Trade and Enterprise, and specifically the sponsors of Action Asia, the principal sponsor, the ANZ Bank, TV3, the Independent Financial Review, the Sunday Star Time, Times, Maxim, Export Year 07, Radio Live, Seneca, and Tasman Orient. Finally, I wish to acknowledge and thank DUCO, the events organizers, who have arranged and organized this evening's Scarlet Dinner and tomorrow's forum, forum, which has been a considerable logistics exercise. Thank you again very much for attending this event. It is now my pleasure to invite the Governor General to speak. The Governor General is a former and long-standing member of the Asian New Zealand Board of Trustees. We are delighted that he's been able to attend this evening, and it's my pleasure to invite the Governor General to now speak. This program was sponsored by Auckland City Council. 9,461. The number of businesses in the Central Business District. 78,480. The number of people who work in those businesses.